Hello and welcome back to the Green Workbench. I am building a campaign lap desk. You can find a lot of pictures of them online. Um, they're pretty cool. So I'm using this African mahogany and I found this board. It's too wide for my planer so I had them mill it down to three quarter inch at the lumber yard. So the first thing I did was I cut out my base piece and it's 14 by 18. Next I've cut out, rough cut out uh, the, s the sides and by rough I mean they're a little longer than they'll end up. Um, but I've ripped them to the proper length. So the back and the two sides and the front. So as a campaign desk it'll be sloping down to this front height but we'll take care of that later. So now I have these smaller pieces. I want to rip them down to half inch or plane them down to half inch, I mean. So I'm going to start running them through the planer, get them down to half inch, and we'll go from there. All right, they're all pl planed down to half an inch. That took forever because it's hard wood, so I could only take a teeny bit off at a time on my planer. So next I'm going to use a dovetail jig and prepare the back two corners with dovetails and then we'll do the front. Okay I have my dovetail jig set up, got my router set up ready to go so I will insert my wood, make sure you mark your wood so you're putting the right sides in at, at the right time. So these are actually templates with some reminders and stuff on them that help me make sure I do it properly. So I'm going to cut the two backs. All right, I have nice dovetails cut on both sides of the back piece. So now I have to cut the angle so that I can do the dovetails on the front piece. Okay, I measured in three inches, up two and a half, over one, and then the diagonal. I cut the diagonal on the compound miter saw down to the point and then hand saw the rest of the way. So, and then made sure both sides match. So now I'm going to cut the front, the dovetails for this front piece. So we'll have all of our sides. All right, so I have the dovetails on the front. There's a couple of ways you can attach the bottom you can do a rabbit joint to fit it up. But essentially, once I had the dovetails, put it all together, cut the bottom so that it fits, and then I cut biscuits. So that's how it'll attach, biscuits and glue with the dovetails all the way around the sides. And that bottom will be just flush. So I am going to glue that up. And we've got the basic shape finished. All right, it's all glued up. Worked out really well. So now I'm gonna make the tray that goes in the back here. Two pieces, plane down to the same width that fit just in here. And I've got the ends of these angled pieces that will create the box. So I need to dovetail these joints and make another small box. So I'm going to set up the dovetail now and it's the same settings because we're the same thicknesses so that should be pretty easy. I finish the dovetails and then I cut a groove on the table saw for the for the bottom to slide in. Also a groove here to divide it. And then I just need to 
blew it up. All right, so it's all glued together and I'm creating a compartment in here, kind of a secret compartment. So it comes up about three quarters of an inch and I have a little magnet that I, I chiseled out. And then a lid with an opposing magnet on the other side will sit down on there. So the way you have to get to it is you have to take the center out and then pop it up. So it's a little secret compartment. So that's, that magnet is drying, still being glued on. And then for my main body, I've got a lid up here to we'll open this way. A divider goes right there. And then the lid that opens out. So those are cut, just waiting for things to dry. And then last stage is this drawer sits on top of these cleats here. There's one on each side. And then I'm gonna face it. So when you lift it up, that's another secret compartment inside here. All right, you may remember when I cut this angle, I came down and then flat. So that made it easier to cut the dovetails, but that doesn't work well for the tabletop. So in the previous step, I glued a piece across, all the way across here. And then I went and got this angle, which was 19 degrees and ripped it all the way across the front. So now the table is flush all the way up. It'll make it easier for this door to open and to sit properly. So that's done. My box with the hidden compartment, I showed you earlier. I put these brass pins to keep it into place. So I've got my compartment back here. I still need to widen the holes a little bit to make it easier to go in and out. But you don't want it too easy. So essentially it goes up under there and then I can push it down. So this under here is a hidden compartment. Got the hidden compartment inside. Here, pens, whatever supplies you need. This fits paper, notepad in here, and the lid will open. So next step is to fit the hinges and then start sanding. All right, I have done most of the sanding, 80 and 120. Uh, still gonna do a 220. Um, put a chamfered edge, the router here, and then also up here. So I'm going to cut out the hinges right now, set all of the hardware, and then do the final sand and we'll be ready to finish. All right, I have the first coat of lacquer sprayed on after sanding it with 220. All right, I put three coats of lacquer on there, spray lacquer. I use lacquer, so hopefully it doesn't change the color of the wood or turn yellow over time. Um, turned out beautiful the lacquer I love the lacquer on the mahogany so my last step is to fill the nail holes with some blend stick plastic wood there aren't very many I tried not to use nails much at all but there are a few um, so like up here so I'm gonna blend those and polish it down and it will be done All right, we're finished with our campaign lap desk made out of African mahogany. You can write on the desk here. You can open and write on the surface here, store papers, lift the lid. You have access to your pens 
and such. Your secret compartment in here, also the one in the shelf like I showed you. Turned out really nicely. So I, I hope you enjoyed this project. Please check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I will see you next time on the Green Workbench. Thanks for watching.